Hello and welcome, my name is Karol Kioski, I'm from General Bytes and in this video I will show you how to connect your Bitcoin ATM to Bitstamp exchange. So first uh, let's uh, let's get on our, our Bitcoin ATM server. We can see that we have here our machine online. Okay. Let's uh, take a look uh, on its settings. It has a Litecoin, Litecoin and Bitcoin set it up. For Bitcoin it's using this configuration and for Litecoin this configuration. This crypto settings. Okay, here we see the current exchange rate which uh, should match the one which is displayed here on the top. But let's uh, let's get into the settings. So let's first uh, s configure Bitcoin crypto settings for Bitstamp. Okay, so in this uh, by clicking on the view button, I open the crypto settings. But uh, this is shortcut. But maybe I should show you that it's here in the menu. You have a crypto settings. First uh, video BTC. Okay, let's edit this one. We have here these these settings, uh, the top settings I explained in the BTM2 configuration video. But let's uh, let's continue on. So I I recommend to use the buy exchange rate, the rate source, actually the pr the source of the Bitcoin price to have the same as the exchange buy. So let's use Bitstamp. We will be purchasing on the euro market, so we will put EUR. Uh, as you can see here in the second window, I'm logged in into the Bitstamp, and here you can see that, or maybe here you can see that the Bitstamp has multiple uh, currency pairs markets. This one is Bitcoin versus USD, Bitcoin versus Euro. So we will be taking price from here, okay? Because you will be purchasing there for euros. So it will use euros to purchase the bitcoins. Uh, sorry, here it will take the price, but here we will choose bitstamp, and here we we have a couple of parameters. One is the fiat currency. So which currency will be used for buying bitcoins on the bitstamp? will be euro maybe maybe I'll use the notepad first to to create the parameter string so you can see it and after that we paste it into parameters uh, window so we will be euro is the fiat currency and we need a username let's use my own which is 73081 Two, three, one, eight, two. Next, we need need API key and secret key. Okay, so where do I find find those? So we go to Bitstamp. We click on account. Here we are. Next, we choose uh, security. We click on API access. As you can see, I have multiple API keys here already, but we will create a new one. Okay, IP address filter. Here should be the IP address of your server, but you can leave it blank, but for sec security reasons, I recommend you to put there your own. So, for example, you have your own server running on this address. If you don't have your server just leave it blank this one will leave blank this one will leave blank use main account because uh, from other accounts you are not able to withdraw coins you have to go always through main account permissions so we the BATM server needs uh, account balance it needs to be able to open the order it needs to be able to buy withdraw Bitcoin deposit address is 
Ripple we don't support, but uh, maybe we will support it in future. So, okay. So we will just click on that in case uh, we support Ripple in future. Transfer balance to main account. We don't need that. But uh, better to have it open. Bank withdrawal, no, we don't need it. Liquidation address, we don't need. User transactions, we need. Cancel order, we need. Sell. Bitcoin withdrawal. Unconfirmed Bitcoin deposit. I don't know what that is, but let's enable that. Ripple deposit address, we need. Transfer balance from main account. Ripple withdrawal we will enable and Litecoin withdrawal we enable. So basically almost all, but just these two we really don't need. Liquidation address, I really don't know what it is. Let's generate key. And as you can see, it generated for us a new key. And this is the API key and this is the API secret. So we copy that. Here, semicolon and the secret perfect but we need to activate it so let's click on activate and now the email was sent to us let me check my email yes I did receive it I received an email with uh, with link so I have to go and get it to the to the browser okay so I have to transfer it through pastebin, you don't have to, you will have it in probably on the very same computer, so it's TTQRVSXQ. So this is the link which I received by email, so I'll call it, I'll go to that link, and you can see that it's active now. Okay, so we ended up with this uh, very long text. So we have fiat currency, user account number, API key, API secret. We go back to back to the our settings, fiat currency, username, API key. Okay, let's put it there. I copy it, paste it. We will use uh, exchange strategy number one, which is that which is that when somebody inserts cash inside of the machine and press buy bitcoins, the machine will go directly to the exchange. It will buy the bitcoins there and it will withdraw the bitcoins there from there. Okay, so I'll click on submit to save the setting. Okay, video BTC, and let's test the settings. Test exchange buy. Okay, you can see that it read the uh, balance and the stat and the balance of the euro account. So now, now when somebody comes to the machine, it will it will purchase on the exchange and send it to him. Now. Let's set up the Litecoin also. So how does the Litecoin looks like? And maybe 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 I should explain the sell part too. So here here basically this is just for BTM3 for the for the two-way machine and this is for sell part is for the direction cash to crypto. So here I would say bitstamp again price for, for euro hot wallet uh, block io 
I don't remember what we had here, so let's put this here. Exchange sell, so we will be selling coins on the bitstamp, and we again enter this very same uh, parameter string. Uh, one thing I, I have to tell you that if you use the uh, multiple servers, which I don't recommend, I recommend to use just one server and have multiple machines connected to that, but if you use multiple servers, for example you have uh, Lamasu server and you have uh, General Bytes machines, uh, General Bytes server, so use a different API key for each uh, server so they don't go into conflict. But you can, but you can use multiple, uh, the same key, uh, the same API keys on the same server for multiple crypto configurations. That's fine. But if you run it on a different uh, server, then better use a uh, just generate a new API key. Okay, so here we fill that. Sell exchange strategy. How? What we are going to do when somebody is going to send us bitcoins? So. So one of the options is so that the coins will just land on the on the destination. Oh, sorry, sorry. The first option is that this option will not be available on the machine, so it will be just one-way machine. But that we don't want. Probably we want to receive it in a hot wallet. Not f not now, but uh, for us, let's say sell the coins on the exchange. And it's possible also to receive the coins on the exchange and maybe on the end of the day you might decide what to do with the coins if you want to sell them or keep them or stash them into Trezor or different device. But let's uh, let's choose the sell them on the exchange. Again we can set the, the fee, let's say 5%, uh, not minus 5 but 5 because we don't want to sell under the price withdraw strategy okay so now under which condition the customer can withdraw the cash so we can allow him to withdraw cash only from the terminals on which he to which he sent the coins but if you have multiple terminals maybe you want to enable him to withdraw the cash on any of the terminals but most of the customers, uh, they will go with the options number zero. Withdrawal confirmations, that is, uh, that is under how many confirmations you enable customer to withdraw cash. So the fir basically when, when somebody is selling coins to you, there are two transactions. Two transactions. So the co customer sends coins to the machine, that's the first transaction. We call it incoming. And second transaction is he sells he sends the coins to the ticket to the redeem ticket that's the incoming transaction and then there is second transaction from the redeem ticket for example to the to the exchange that's the outgoing uh, transaction so here we said after how many how many confirmations of the incoming transaction we allow customer to withdraw the cash so usually it's just one. Uh, one confirmation for Litecoin it might be for example five or something uh, here is after how many confirmations we will we will try to sell those coins on the exchange because exchanges uh, want to stay uh, stay safe so they require six uh, confirmations on the exchange before they credit your bitcoins on the exchange so ATM will give the customer cash before it actually so sells those coins on the on the exchange and here you set up the sell offer expiration so after for how long the ATM is going to guarantee the exchange rate or the price to the customer usually I recommend 45 minutes is a safe time for a customer to get to to send the coins to the redeem ticket so that is the time between redeem ticket and the and the time when he sends the coins to the uh, to the to the redeem ticket. If he sends it later, the the machine will will tell him that it's too late and he's gonna get the coins back. Here in invalid payments, that's uh, where you fill in the where you fill in the uh, address where 
if the invalid payment is made where these coins will be forwarded. If you don't feel here anything, the coins will be bounced back to the customer. And this is something what you typically don't want because for example if somebody is sending coins from the Coinbase or from the some Bitcoin exchange, he he doesn't have under control the address from which the coins are coming. So if you send him so when he sends the coins from the exchange to you and it's it's for example the the amount doesn't match and you send it send it back to him and he uh, you are basically sending it back to the exchange and the exchange doesn't know what to do with those coins they don't know that it belongs to that customer so for that reason i recommend you to put here some address uh some bitcoin address of your hot wallet for example or actually better is to put there your deposit address of your exchange and uh, when when customer contacts you and uh, and tells you okay my transaction failed sorry i sent the i tried to save money so i sent a little bit less uh, i'm sorry uh, what should we do and you can tell him okay uh, the price uh, went a little bit uh, a little bit up of the bitcoin so it's fine uh, we got the coins already on our deposit address I can I can uh, resume your transaction it's fine we have the coins under control or you can you can send him coins back from that from that exchange or from that address which you put here okay so let's save that Okay, and let's set up uh, Litecoin. So in Litecoin, everything is the same. So we set up Bitstamp. We copy the very same API key. That's basically just access or the permission to control the exchange. We set up here that you want Bitstamp, Euromarket, for sell, we use Bitstamp, Exchange, Euromarket, and uh, Block iOS. We won't set up now, but uh, this is covered in uh, in different video how to set up wallet. I think it's conf it's covered in Bitcoin. Uh, bottom two configuration video bitstamp remember that every exchange has needs different settings that's uh, that's why it's so flexible here why we chosen the so flexible parameter format but it's not so handy but uh, not so user friendly but uh, it's okay and let's receive only coins on the exchange because you want to buy them off the market and keep them in the trezor later on withdrawal confirmations maybe we wait for for five might be safe 45 minutes that's the time after our offer expires and we we might put here some address okay so let me so it would be something like not L not one because it's like going but else something 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 I don't know what okay submit okay let's uh, let's test the parameters test exchange by perfect text test exchange cell perfect okay so this is it uh, and now you can go and test uh, just to buy coins 